getting involved in the gym that I did when I was younger, um, getting involved in netball program. From a young age I was involved with the Victorian Institute of Sport where we were given a gym program and then that carried on throughout my junior career um, representing Victoria back in Australia and then throughout the ANZ season um, um, going to the gym at least two to three times a week was part of our program. When I was younger I used to be able to do everything, I used to love doing everything. Um, especially all the jumps training and stuff like that. I used to love doing that when I was um, younger, but now I guess I've just got to be a lot smarter about what I do leading up to the game so that come game day, my body's ready to go. I might be doing a few different things in the gym. Um, I do Pilates outside of training as well. I do yoga, some other things that I can work on um, different parts of my body without influencing my knees and things like that. We've got a nutritionist in the team that we talk to and also um, one with the Aussie Diamonds that I am in regular contact with. Um, we get skin folds on a regular basis, so you can't, there's no real excuses to hide um, you know, what you're doing off the court. The main thing with me though is if um, you know, I'm eating healthy food and eating the food that I should be, um, I feel good. It's about being smart and making sure you're feeling your body ready for training and ready for the games. Go, 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 go. I beat my score from last time, so that's always good. <laughs> I think it's just about always trying to get better. Um, you know, taking something out of every training session you do. You're there for a purpose. You're there to make yourself better and the team better. That's what I, you know, like to encourage the younger girls in our teams to do and take the advice from the, you know, the older girls as well and always trying to learn and always trying to build their game and then obviously that will benefit the team as well whether it's taking information from the coaches or from players around you to improve your game. Yeah, I guess it's challenging at times, but I guess that's what we, you know, are in the sport for. We know that the travel comes with it and things like that and the highs and lows. Obviously, our season hasn't gone to plan so far, but you've just got to rise above that and, you know, get the motivation to get the next win. Just training every day, training as a team to get better so that you can put out a better performance next time you take the court. I'd love to keep playing for a couple more years at least. I know this year's a really important year at the end of the year. There's Commonwealth Games. I've never actually been to a Commonwealth Games, so that's always been a goal of mine. Um, I've actually been injured the last one, and that was hard to watch. Obviously, this year, they want to try and get a uh, premiership with the Mystics first and then um, see how it go with the Aussie team. And then the following year, next year, is um, World Champs in Sydney, so that would be awesome to compete in that. But I know my husband's knocking on the door for kids. Um, <laughs> everyone around him seems to be having kids, so. Um, um, that'll probably be the next phase of my career after playing netball, hopefully start a family. I love what I do, I love playing netball, um, you know, it's pretty amazing to be able to, you know, stay fit and play a game that we love um, at the elite level, so I guess if that can't keep you motivated, you shouldn't really be in the league, so I love, yeah, love doing what I do and we'll do it for as long as I can.